welcome folks to the photo video show where we explore all things DSLR and on today's program I wanted to I wanted to find out if there were some things that I could do in my pajamas I know that there's a lot of stuff you can do before you get in your pajamas and I definitely know there's a lot of stuff you can do after you get out of your pajamas but I really wanted to know if there was something so insanely easy and so geniusly crafted and so that I don't even have to put on real clothes and I think I found that in FCPFX.com's screen splitter plugin. Let's check that out, shall we? Go ahead. All right. Once you finally get your Final Cut Pro FX plugin uh, installed on your computer, uh, you'll see a, a new category under a, the effects tab. It'll say My FCP Effects. And in there, you're going to find your screen splitter. Okay? And screen splitter will have two different flavors. You're going to have screen splitter with a background or border and screen splitter with no border, okay? Now, most of the time I have to go here. Under the um, transform tool and basically resize all my video pieces if I want to do some sort of split screen type of uh, activity but with the screen splitter plugin it's much much easier I just tell screen splitter exactly where I want to place all the different pieces of footage and it does it for me so here's a for instance I have these four different clips and you want to stack each one on top of the other now for my bottom clip I've already decided that what I want to do is I want to make that a two-thirds width full height okay so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the clip that I want to use that particular uh, screen splitter effect on come back over here I'll double click it you'll immediately see it show up here in your inspector and I want this clip to be on the left side and I'm gonna to toggle the background on. Your bottom clip should always be the one with the background on, okay? And then you can always choose the color of your background here. And it is a pretty uh, awesome color picker that you can use, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick black. Easy enough. All right, so for these other three clips, I want them to be on the right side of my screen here in thirds. So I will select the next clip and I'll come over here and I'm gonna say I want the third width, third height. So if I've got two thirds on my bottom clip, then I'm gonna want one third on the top clips. So I'm going to double click and it will add it to this clip. And I'm gonna say I want this to be on the right top. Okay. Go to my second clip run back over here double click it and add it to that one I'm gonna have that one selected and add it to right middle and then I'm gonna grab my last clip double click my effect it'll add it to it and then I'm gonna select right bottom there you go I mean it can't be more simpler than that so once you get all of it selected your entire screen will automatically be split up into its appropriate sections. You'll have all of your footage exactly where you wanted it to be, and you didn't have to go in there and manually resize each and every piece of video footage. It's that fast, it's that quick, and it looks great. So there you have it, folks. That's fcpfx.com screen splitter plugin. So easy, it's not even funny. Actually, it is pretty funny because I was expecting maybe something a little bit harder, maybe a little bit rougher, maybe a little bit of a hassle, but no, not at all. So thanks again to FCPFX.com for having us review his brand new screen splitter plugin. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for us, please be sure to send those in. I'll be happy to answer any and all of those questions. 
Please be our friend on Facebook and Twitter that we can keep up with all the latest news things and such as and all of that goodness and stuff. Uh, and I hope to see you again next time. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.